what drives me crazy? These Pie in the sky people I see all over social media constantly posting and tweeting this. Our world is so divided. Why can't we all just love each other? Wow, what a hot take. I've never thought about that. Let's all just love each other. That'd fix everything, I'm sure of it. You know, maybe this is an irrational pet peeve of mine, but this... It just drives me crazy. I have a novel idea. How about everyone just tries to, I don't know, be nice to each other? Wow, just really digging deep to solve the world's problems, aren't ya? If only everyone would just listen to you. And then just start being nice all the time. Then, then everything would be fixed. Everything would be fine. But there's only one problem. Being nice to people is hard. Even for you, up on your high horse, solving the world's problems. I mean, it's easy to be nice to people who are nice to you. But when any sort of variation on that formula is introduced, well, that's when things get a little complicated. Hey, how's it going, man? Dude, leave me alone, please. I was just trying to be nice. Yeah, and I'm nicely telling you to leave me alone. To the person who rejected my kindness when I extended to them an olive branch of my friendship. You are what is wrong with this world. Why can't everyone just get along? Sand. Oh, yeah. See, here's the thing. Loving people is difficult. Because the people who need love the most are the people who are the most difficult to love. It's like, it's funny that way. Look, I know it feels good to feel like you're loving people and to talk about how much you love people, but when the people you get along with are people who are easy to get along with, well, how many points are you really earning here? Like, you know how in movies sometimes there's that kid, that nerdy outcast kid who has zero friends? I mean, look. Aw, she's so sweet, look how pretty she is. She's lonely, and the bullies, they're just, they're so mean to her. I'll be your friend, nerdy girl from the movie I'm watching. I'll be your friend, I love you. And then eventually, someone, usually a love interest, shows her compassion, and it's this beautiful Hollywood moment. Yeah, real life is not that way. In real life, the kid with no friends has no friends for a reason. This person is probably really annoying. Like. Grading. I'm serious, that kid drives you insane. And they're never this nice to look at. I mean, they look like, well, we have a character for that, actually. Hey, buddy, oh, you want to hang out today? Oh, I, I can't. I I'm busy. Oh, man, I'm not busy at all, so I can take some of your business and we can, like, do it together. I, I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, I have so much time, though. No, I'm sorry. Let's just walk, th no. okay, we'll walk this way. No, then. Super needy, super high maintenance, obnoxious. And most importantly, not easy to love. So when people talk about loving each other, this is who needs it most. Oh, hey man, uh, do you want to hang out? My day is wide open. Look man, I, I only love people when it's easy and makes me feel good. I, I don't get any personal satisfaction out of spending time with you. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, well, uh, if you change your mind, I'll be over here. <laughs> so maybe that's why it drives me crazy when people say, why can't we all just love each other? Because loving people is hard, okay? It's not natural. It, it goes against every selfish impulse inside of us. It's not like people can just flip a love switch and start showing patience and compassion to annoying people. It takes a lot of effort. And that's much tougher than just seeing the faults in others and projecting. If there is one thing I hate, it's people who don't love others. Whew, that is deep. My followers might not be ready for that one, but I'm gonna post it anyway. Look guys, it's a disaster out there, okay? The real world is horrifying. And yeah, it's true. Love would fix it all. It would fix every single thing. But the problem is, you can only control how you're loving people. I can't control you, you can't control me. So when I hear you say, why can't we all just love each other? What I'm really hearing is this. Why can't everyone just be as enlightened as I am and love everyone 100% of the time perfectly the way that I do? Why has no one else thought of this really easy genius plan? So next time you're watching the news and shaking your head at all the terrible things you're witnessing in the world, look around and find someone in your life who irritates the you know what out of you. And if you cannot find it in your heart to genuinely be their friend, shut your mouth. 
Stay tuned for a scene from our next episode. Hey everyone, quick shout out to our friend Chelsea who's written a novel called Forget Me. It's about a girl who has trouble fitting in and doesn't believe life or God have much to offer her. So she makes a really bad decision and then has to watch the aftermath play out. Forget Me deals with hope, salvation, self-esteem, and themes of depression and suicide. It's pretty heavy, but it's definitely a great read. The link to check it out is in the description below. So check it out. Okay, thanks. Next week on Messy Mondays, Big Head Kid realizes he's that guy. So what's happening in this scene? Uh, you're begging Sarah to hang out with you. Why am I always begging people to hang out with me? Because, uh, that's your character in this video. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense because this video is all about being nice to people who don't have friends. Shouldn't I be being a friend to people instead of being so annoying? Uh... Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? You, you put me in the video and then you make me the annoying one? Are you in on this too? I'm a serious actor here! I 